everyone today we are going to see an easy way to start Kafka so uh, we are going to use the docker engine so I didn't see any proper images till uh, yesterday regarding the Ka Kafka one so yesterday I got a an interesting link so I will share that one it's very easy to run a, a Kafka without, without any risk just uh, download the image and run so whenever you are going for a system based approach or you are installing Kafka in our system you need to start Zookeeper and you need to start the Kafka server so it's a two uh, yeah two time running process so in this case you don't need to care about anything can just install the uh, you can just run the docker image at one command and whenever you need to run again you can just restart that container so it's very useful uh, comparing to other approach so i am going to take that image so so it's a very useful one and I am going to take that from docker hub so okay so this is the image Juni Park Kafka Zookeeper so if you are uh, running this one and just running this one make your Kafka up and running <coughs> so it's very useful so I am going to copy this one and I am going to use my docker to pull that image so it will uh, pull some of the images available and uh, after that I need to run so here you have the option to you can mention other servers instead of uh, other ports instead of the, this particular port you can mention that too so I am going to okay it's installing right now not installing downloading right now so during that time what I'm going to do is I will start a visual studio code so I tried to connect one of my system based Kafka with that visual studio code so let's see whether there is any instance currently running on my system so it's saying like failed to fail connecting to cluster so we need to go to the settings here so we can see uh, what is problem here so Kafka I mentioned localhost 9092 so there is a failure in this case so we will solve that by using the docker so we can see how we will do that so I am just passing that command and I am choosing 9092 itself and 21814 zip so I am running that image right now okay so right now my Kafka starter yeah everyone can see here started Kafka server Kafka server so it already started zookeeper also so right now what we are going to do is we are trying to connect it again so where is my is my Visual Studio Code for Kafka? So here, yeah, here. So right now I am just trying to connect. Okay, still, yeah, I'm just trying to connect. And zero nine two, and. Uh, 
yeah right now it's connected so i can see the topic so uh, i can create any top topic from here yeah i can create topic also so if i am creating like creating topics like building accounts or payment earnings or something like that something like order yeah this is a good topic order so uh, yeah after uh, i need i guess we need to refresh then only it will start i guess it's not work out so order presenter number of partitions i need only one number of re replication factor i am giving one so right now my topic is created so here i can start consumer but i ca cannot post into that topic i guess so if i am trying to post into that topic how i will do that it's a question so probably i need to do from uh, some other programming or from command line itself so right now i'm not going to do that so that's all for creating a kafka instance using docker and make your development very easy only concern is you need to install docker even if you are in a mac os it's very easy to install docker but windows uh, sometimes if it is an old system uh, it will not be capable of doing that but uh, the later version of windows and uh, windows systems uh, it's also easy to install docker so that's all for today tomorrow we will come with some other topic thank you for Watching, have a nice day.